Hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome to your weekly reading, weekly energies. This is for the third week in March, the week before the full moon in Libra. Or let's say it's quite a strong full moon that's coming up, which is next week on the 25th. A uh, lunar south node eclipse at 5 degree in Libra. What that means, you know, loves, south node speak about the past life's energies that are interfering in this life and share you with the things you got to do here because north node is what you're leaving or what you should pursue this life. South node is the helper, how you can do certain things. On other note, Libra speaks about balance, how you should balance certain things in your life, what you should balance, what you need to seek as balance. And many of you have been asking about what science I should look to for whatever I'm praying or manifesting that is that manifestation coming or doesn't. So this week, I'm going to do this energies. What signs should you look for to recognize what's coming for you this week? Could be signs through people, could be signs through dreams, messages, feelings, no matter whatever those are, we'll see here. And of course, what else is coming? So Sagis, let's see. And of course, this is a general reading. My truly resonate with you. Might be here and there a message. Let's not be judging. We never know what both we are in there up to. As well, pardon my voice. It seems here there is some kind of coldness out there. And it's kind of like passing through, but still getting there. All right, Sagittarians, what signs we should look up to? What else is there for you? King of Swords. King of Swords speaks about your plans, your future plans. As well, the King of Swords speaks about your thoughts. Pay attention to your thoughts. Another notion about the king of swords is about clarity okay chariot ace of wands six of swords the moon queen of swords and three of cups underneath we have the nine of swords this is the mermaid tarot loves okay so we have the king and the queen of swords here so it's more likely uh, some of you've been dealing here with someone but this situation it's not quite moving or was not moving for quite a while now it's gonna move What I'm seeing here, for some of you, you might deal with a very superficial individual or someone here, it's superficial. Even they are hiding certain things. For some of you, you try to be friends here with someone. It's quite impossible to be friends. For whatever reasons, okay. Let's see more. First card, we have Judgment. Aha moment. It's kind of suddenly you will get that notion that I know clearly what to do. I know what clearly should to do. Should I do? Seven of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Four of Wands, 
and Ace of Swords. So definitely here it's about clarity after quite a while. For some of you, you are receive clarity from someone. For some of you, you can get clarity through the angels. Having the moon and the judgment, for some of you, you get clarity through your dreams. And for some of you, you will have that clarity confirmed by a energy into your dreams. Somebody here is going to come into your dreams that will let you know. Look at this Aces loves. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. Three Aces out of bat. The only one Ace missing here is Ace of Pentacles. That real thing, the real thing so many, many of you, you are moving to the real thing, real energy. Let me see here. What's the Seven of Pentacles? Because I feel here you are looking for clarity or for, for an answer for quite a long time. Because Seven of Pentacles is a long time. Hierophant. Yes, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Three of Wands, another three, and Nine of Pentacles. So indeed here, you might feel like, I don't know if this is going to happen or if this coming in but it's definitely coming in with the three of wands and nine of pentacles be confident because whatever here you manifested you looked for it is coming for some of you if you were dealing here with someone in a third party and you were wondering if they they want to be with you or will ever come back to you. Yes, they will come back to you, but will take some kind of long time. It's a very, very long time. Whoever is this person, they... It's not like they... They can't come, but the universe wants them to learn a lesson before coming forward. If you want to know why certain things worked in a certain way or how the things were, they will bring you an explanation. I want to know what's the Ace of Swords here for. Ten of Wands. And the Fool. So definitely here with the Fool, See here, the judgment, fool. Underneath we have the hermit. Something here you clearly will know how to pursue forward. Whatever clarity comes in for you. It's kind of um, a release. It's a big release. Whatever the, the release speaks of, because Ten of Wands and the Fool, like, now I know what should I do for myself. Because something here really feels pretty heavy, and it seems here you are going to let it go. Clarifying the Six of Swords... Four of Swords, Justice, and Page of Cups. Clarifying the Three of Cups, Two of Swords, 
Nine of Swords. Eight of Swords. There's a lot of Swords. And Three of Pentacles. Underneath we do have the Seven of Cups. So look at these threes. Three of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Three of Swords is the one missing. So some something here really felt hurt. Or really hurt. And whoever here needed some answers, it's is that kind of like now I know I can't hold any more back and I understand what I really really want. For those of you who feel in a cloud, for those of you who felt like in a um, you know, in a fog energy. You are not going to be in a fog anymore. So, definitely here, for many, many of you, you will have a conversation with someone. That's a sign. For others of you, signs you could get through your dreams. And for others of you, you just know deep down. Okay? But let's see what the judgment brings to you. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is the, the energy of feeling left out in the cold or there's something here that you know why certain things needed to be the way they were. Knight of Cups. And six of wands. So something here needed to happen for you to be in the place where you are or where you're going. Because the Empress. You know, the Empress really speaks about that abundant, that good energy, that fulfilled energy. Because that happy that successful energy you were looking was not where you thought will. It's somewhere else or can be somewhere else. And the universe told here that whatever here felt heavy, whatever feel here the energy that, you know, can go through, can go forward. It's to your own best. Something here I'm hearing was banished to go forward with you or come towards you. Not because you don't deserve it, but more likely you deserve much, much better. Much better. For some of you, you definitely needed to hear these messages actually from, from this video. Because you are Empress. You are the Empress. You are... You have much more than even you are felt to. And for some of you, your value is not what you thought. You are m way more valuable than you thought you are. You know, like a, a old fine wine. With the time, it's more expensive. And with, with the time, we understand why it's expensive. By the taste by the color, by many other, you know, components or ingredients and, you know, the way. So whoever Sagittarius I'm speaking here, you are definitely here, the Empress. 
what advice we have for you, loves. For some of you, you might ask why I separate from someone or why a connection were not working. Because your, your calling, your mission in this world, it's much different than you porter yourself or you label yourself. Okay. What advice we have from spirit to you, darlings? Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands also is a Sagittarian card. And Eight of Wands speaks about, as you see here, I never seen this um, before. It's like a volcano erupting and all this kind of like flames going out. So there is something here speaking about your movement in life. If something here was not really going forward, now it's going to go pretty fast forward. There's a lot of back and forth. For some of you, prepare yourself for a very profitable time. Also, a very active time. Look at here, Knight of Wands picking off. So there is a lot of new energy. For some of you, there is, it's kind of your life. It's start to bloom. It's like you are in your spring of your life. Queen of Wands. Wow. So get ready, darlings. Knight of Swords. Yeah, definitely fast energy, fast time. Pretty quick energy coming in. For some of you, definitely you will have a conversation with a specific person. And definitely based on the conversation, you, you will know if that person serves you in any way or you just need to let them go. A very... A person who still need a lot of growth or still need to go through a lot of challenges to be it's not like you you are considered some kind of you know individual but this person needs to grow up at many levels i feel here you did grow up but they need to grow up too two of ones yeah look at here eight and two we have the ten here so you are gonna decide if you keep this person or not but for many 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 of you look at here the world for some of you there is coming travel it's kind of you are a traveler for some of you get ready because something here it's about to come to you and it's quite big could be big news big movement because look at this, two of wands looks at the volcano and the volcano is fuming. And here in this eight of wands, the volcano is erupting. And here's the queen of wands here, holds the lava. So you are the volcano. So Some of you might have a very, very strong conversation here with someone for others of you you definitely here needs to get ready for for some fast-paced news and fast-paced energy that's coming in for you messages news conversations hang a man things that that was not moving forward. Whatever here decision is that you are going to make will be, um, will be for good. So for some of you, a time in your life that was stuck or something here stuck was not moving, is ending. Ten of Cups. For some of you, a relationship that needs to be resolved. 
is ending. To the best. For others of you, you, you need to let go someone for your own happiness, for your own good. For your own benefit, basically. To find your own happiness. And I want to bring also a card from the Monology Oracle deck. I didn't use for quite a long time this deck, but here we are. Meditate and contemplate. New Moon in Pisces here. For some of you, whatever decision, as I said, you are going to make will be decisive. Will be, I done? There's no coming back. Underneath we have New Moon in Libra. The new moons are very important. A new romantic cycle begins. For some of you, this is a new life for you. But it's kind of now I'm hearing that you are going to choose you. And also what I'm hearing from being in a cold energy, because King and Queen of Swords are cold energies. Now you are more into your energy of King of Queen of Wands. And whoever here doesn't um, doesn't kind of like come as well hot worm, they are they are not for you. It's like if it doesn't match my energy, I'm not gonna go based on your energy. There's something here about the energies attract. So, indeed, here for Sagittarius, I'm speaking here. You are. It's kind of you. You gain your freedom back. You are free from a situation with someone. And it's kind of nobody, nothing can stop you now to be happy or find happiness or be the way who you always want to be. For some of you, it's kind of like certain things that didn't happen for years are going to happen now. But there's something here you definitely needed to let go. A situation, a person, an energy, because there's something here was like, you know how the symbiose or how you call that when an animal is on top of another animal and it's feeding from it. So now you pull off that that was on you and was feeding off your energy. They're not going to feed any more loves. You're done. You're done keeping that person around you. And yeah, doing you and start a new life for you. Bring love into your situation and nothing is yet set in stone. So the way you are doing the things, it's up to you. With nothing is yet set in stone, it's very much up to you. You can change the things the way you want. Love and light, Sanj. I hope this resonates. I hope this speaks to you. And if that's, let us know. As well, you are welcome to subscribe, like, share this video. And of course, if you have any questions or any requests, the email is in the description box. I'll see you, darlings. Bye for now.